Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today we're going to take a look at how to use Photoshop Elements to be able to zoom into an area and still be able to see the overall image. Now I have a picture here from Ryan Abel Photography. The model here is Chad White. And what I'm doing here is I'm changing the eye color. But when I zoom in, I can't really see how that eye color looks with the shirt that he's wearing. So let's go ahead and see how I did that. I'm going to go ahead and close both of these images down. Let's go ahead and close them and not save those. And then I'm going to go to File Open from my menu. And I'm going to select the picture right there of Chad White. And then I'm going to zoom in on this area of his face right there. So let's go ahead and take the magnification tool right there, the magnifying glass. Let's go ahead and zoom into that area of the face so that I can see his eyes there. But then I want to zoom in real close on the eye so I can change that eye color and then see how it looks compared to the shirt. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to select View and then I'm going to select New Window and then the name of your file will be right there. What it's going to do is it's going to open a second image right there and then I'm going to tile these by going to Window, Images, and Tile and it's going to put those images side by side. Now if you ever want to move your image around, if you hold the space bar that will turn your image into or your tool into the hand and you could go in here and move your image around. So there we have it. Now I'm going to click on the one that's right next to it and then I'm going to zoom in real close on his eye right there. Now this is the same picture right here. So when I go to change something in here, it will also change it over there. So let's go ahead and go to my layers palette right over here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new fill or adjustment layer to that right after I select the color of his eye. So let's go ahead and select the quick selection tool right there. And then I'm going to select part of his eye and then I gotta make sure in my option bar that I have the plus selected and I'm gonna sit there and I'm gonna click on the colored part of his eye now I wanna, might wanna go over here and click the minus sign and get some of his uh, eyebrow or his uh, eyelid off there just go ahead and do that and then I'm going to go to my black and white cookie tool down here in my layers palette and I'm going to select hue and saturation adjustment layer and then I'm going to colorize it and then I'm going to change the color. Let's go ahead and see what a nice blue eye would look like by taking this over into the blue range right there. Now as you can see I have a good idea of what it's going to look like against this particular shirt. The only problem is, is that's a little bit dark and I can't tell because I'm really zoomed in onto this eye. So let's go ahead and bump the lightness up a little bit here. Now remember I have the uh, colorized checked right here. I'm just going to select that and take that up just a notch. And there we have it. Now you can see that he has blue eyes which kind of uh, highlight that shirt that he's wearing. So if I hold the space bar down, turns it into a hand and I can go into the other eye that I have zoomed. Let's go ahead and go back to the layer palette right there. And I'm going to click on my background layer once again. And I'm going to go over here to my quick selection tool and I'm going to try to quickly select his eye. Wow, that was terrible. And then we're going to select the minus tool and try and get rid of some of the eyelid right there and some of the other parts of the non-colored parts of his eye that we don't want right there. And you can do a much better job of it, but for right now I'm just kind of showing you how to zoom in on part of your image and then have the other part of it change immediately. So let's go ahead and add another adjustment layer right there. I'm going to click on the adjustment black and white cookie tool right there, select my hue and saturation, click the colorize box right there and then slide this on over once again to the blue range that we had over there. Once again that's a little bit too dark so let's go ahead and slide up the light lightness right there. And as you can see, I've changed his eye color and it's affecting both of these images right there. Let's go ahead and take that. It's a little bit too blue. We want to take it a little bit more to the cyan 
and there we have it so as you can see as I'm making changes to this one it's also updating in this window there because I went to view and I went to new window so if you haven't done so already please subscribe to my videos give me a thumbs up give me a favorite and then pass my link on to your friends cheers